Rikers Island. Today, we're going to get into Rikers Island, Deb Bailey, Captain Bailey, Warden Bailey, whatever you knew him as, right here on the lockout. And we also got little stories of what dude's been talking about. Let's go. On the lockout, Rikers Island. To you lose it, you leave it in that cell. When I came through, I seen it was me against the world. Nobody was with me, it was me in my own corner. I had to hold my own. So, you see where he says, When he came through, it was him against the world. Nobody was in his corner, he had to hold his own. That's exactly the way it is. It's HYO. You have to HYO the situation. Hold your own. That's just facts. That's the way it goes, bro. Because dudes can say they're on your side. And this is for the people. Like, if you've never been incarcerated, you're a good dude. And that's what's up. Because oftentimes we spend our life thinking that we tough or something because we went to Rikers. That's not what it is, bro. Jail don't make you tough because you've been up north don't make you tough, Right? To me, today is what you do after. But check it out. We're going to get into a whole lot more. I came through. I did me, whatever, whatever. You know, I got into a few other cases in jail, whatever. I held my way. I stayed in for three years. Came home. Now I'm back on a homicide, you know? It's like right now, I'm facing the rest of my life in jail. That's how my life is. That's how now they thug for life because they know they're going up there. No one's watching. Yo, that dude right there that just took off his shirt, it says uh, hell rail, whatever. I used to see some of these dudes on the island. This is facts, bro. As I was coming up as a youngin, I remember, bro, and I'm bad with faces, but certain dudes I never really forgot. And I always say this, bro, and, bro, sometimes I don't say certain things. You feel like you're over-exaggerating or someone may think you're lying, but I have no need to lie. This is facts. Check this out, bro, right? Um, I used to see him. But he had that aura, like, you got to give props where props is due, like, right? It's sad because that's the lifestyle that we was living, and that's what we was into, but was nobody playing with him, bro. I guarantee you, whoever says different, they lying. I don't know what situations, you know, because something always happens to somebody. When you're doing gangster things, gangster things are going to happen. But I know the times I've seen him, he wasn't in none of my houses, never. I always seen him, like, in the hallways or something. But the bloods respected him. Everybody just stood away from him. But I'm pretty sure he was a good dude because deep down inside, dudes be good dudes. You know what I'm saying? I used to do the same thing because coming up on the island, I seen it a lot. So I was like, okay, boom, boom. And I wanted to be that. And it's sad. I became that. You know what I mean? And I started doing the same thing I seen others doing. On Rikers Island, is like a lot of cutting game. Everybody want to cut everybody. And it's sad, bro. It's real sad. Facts. They were a good gangster gang, gangster thug hand in hand. They going to lose. Unpredictable. That's there because no telling what I might do to you. I mean, I might ride with you, I might ride with you, but I might cheer your ass up the next day. That's how you got to be in here. I got to do me and I got to hold me. You know, this is my crime right here. This is my partner. He got my back, I got his back. This is the way we rolling, you know? Now, he say ain't no telling what I may do. You feel me? Might tear you up. That's just, listen, one day you wake up good. You know, you happy, go lucky. It be like that, man. Then a dude be stressed. And out of nowhere, it pops. Boom! Holy snap! <laughs> and you like, holy shit! Yo, it popped for the smallest of things, man. And this is what I be trying to tell dudes. Like, if you not ready for all that, leave the gang banging alone. Leave the streets alone. It has nothing for you. These things will happen instantly. From the minute you get there, you just got to the jail and you could be leaking. Because another... One of uh, the inmates, right, had a bad day in court or something, and they put you in that pen, and you done. <laughs> Facts. And everybody that's been there knows that. How dudes give it up, bro. Dude come back from court. He's mad. 
He's ready to take it out on everybody, bro. Homeboy right here says, yo, that's my crimey. We look out for each other. You always got two dudes that's like running around with each other. Boom, boom. Like, yo, you going to jail? Yo, you go. Come on. He waits for him. He waits for him. You know what I'm saying? The bad thing about that is that I'm pretty sure this happened to them too a few times. And the one with the glasses, I seen him around somewhere too. I think it was the island. Like, these two dudes that I'm pointing out right here, which is him and the other dude, they not like fronting. I had seen them in the island when I was younger coming up. Facts. And uh, uh, I never encountered them, so I ain't going to lie. But I always knew that I saw them. I haven't seen this video in a long time. I'm not saying I never saw it. Of course, I do Rikers Island stories. I saw it. But it's not like I'm reacting to something that I'd never seen. But those are coming also. And uh, my thing is, I haven't seen them in so long. It's like new. Like, I forget, bro. My brain is fried, dude. So let's get to it. Rikers Island, you already know. Gang gang without the gang bang. Hopefully, if you've never been to the island, you learned something from this. If you've seen it a million times, I understand it. You didn't see it this way, though. Bah, relax. <laughs> back, I got his back. This is the way we rolling, you know? I done been through it all, and y'all done seen it all, done, done had it all. I done seen guys get fucked, seen guys get, get cut, seen guys lose their life in jail. I, I even been through it. I done almost lost my life here. You heard I got stabbed two inches away from my heart, three inches under my lungs. It went in and out. Friends or damn son, they told you. Uh. You seen him where he got plugged at? No disrespect to him, man. Just making a little humor out of a bad, super bad situation, right? So the difference is in the street, you could. Pew! <laughs> Oftentimes, our family thinks like, "Yo, he's good. He's in Rikers." And let that yang me and Tom Paranso, where he belongs. Hopefully he'll learn something. They think you go to school in there, like, literally. Like, I mean, you can't, but it's rare that people go, right? And I think it's for the adult, for the young bugs right now. But people's family think you good. That's a prime example of you not good. And he wasn't no slouch. Facts. Because it became a point in my life where I almost lived on the island that I would call my girl and I'll be like, Bro, and she's like, I already know you in your second home. Because if I stood away from the household for too long, <laughs> I was locked up. And the phone call was like, yo, <laughs> you already know they locked me up for a while. I didn't even do nothing, bro. <laughs> you feel me? I just went with this dude to the blogger. You never do nothing, you heard? Or when you're in the bullpens, it's like, Yo, what you locked up for? So I got caught up in some bow. <laughs> but yo, Rikers Island is serious, man. Look at that dude how he is, man. That could be you. All these things right here I wanted to show you, man, is because I want you to stay out of jail, prison, and institutions. There's a better way, B. We ain't got to live like that no more. I've been there, done that, mostly my whole life. And to be real, I just came from Rikers Island. I showed you guys the paper. I told you I got locked up. Got caught up in some bull. I just walked to the store with somebody. But that was, that was facts, right? But when it really happens, nobody believes you. Because they were so used to me being a piece of shit. That they think that's all I'm going to be for the rest of my life. They waiting. The people are waiting for our downfall. People are waiting for us to revert back. To the way we was then. Let's prove people wrong for once in our life, B. That we could be better than just a blood. We could be better than a Latin king. But don't get it wrong because I don't see nothing wrong with certain beliefs. So let's say we could be better than the grimy, super no good ones, right? Because I don't think that lessons or L's or nothing... Make bad people or make things bad. Some of those literatures is beautiful if you carry yourself that way. People make the nation or the gang real bad. Facts. Let's get to it. Rikers Island. You already know. My heart finished on my lungs. It went in and out. Friends or crimes as they are called are established in jail as a form of protection. 
If I call you my crimey, you're like my brother now. You're someone who's not just part of this gang I'm in or the SRG group. You're my crimey. My crimey. I'ma watch you and you gonna watch me. When I pop, you fall in position and you pop. If not, it's gonna go down with you. You already know how we do. Six minutes on that jack, that's it. <laughs> Gang. You my crimey. Together we built a bond, right? Oftentimes on Rikers Island, people do that from the minute they meet, bro. A lot of dudes don't even know each other, but the dudes that you go through with, and, you know, you start getting housed. And when a lot of people first go through, right, and there's no disrespect to nobody, it's just facts. They start looking for recruitment. Like, yo, where you from? From the Bronx. Huh? Yo, me too. Boop. That's it. Whoever hits him in that moment, it pops. Not everybody's like that, but there was back then, there was a lot of dudes like that. You know, and I respected it. You know, they was preparing themselves. If they went to two top butcher shop, yo, we together. But sometimes when dudes went up there, that whole little bond that they had in the bullpens, shh, shh, went out the window when somebody's like, boom, bing, pop, boom, oh, boom, pop, oh, it's not, yo, see, oh, 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 yo, chill, boom, boom, oh, oh, yo, you wildin', word, you gang, nah, boom, boom, you gang. The gang go out the window. I seen it a lot. I've done it a lot. God forgive me. But if I had to do it all again, seeing this right here reminds me that ain't nothing changed on Rikers Island. You know that every time I went to Rikers Island, it was like the same people were there, bro. The same thugged out dudes coming back. We all just got older. Right now, when I went through, it was a whole lot of the same people, bro. It's crazy. And leave in the comments if you ever been through that because I answer back all comments unless you say some crazy thing, right? But it's sad because I always said I didn't want to come through at certain ages and that wind up happening, right? So let's see what's up anyway. Let's get to it. Pardon me for the video. I'm trying to get all this together with the software and all that. So if it's lagging a little bit, I'm trying to figure it out because I was doing it with another... Anyway, just... It's going to get greater later. Trust me. And the audio, if it's making any kind of noise, is because I got a lot of programs loaded. My computer, the CPU is getting a little hot. I got to figure out how to lower the... Anyway, that's on Tech for Rec, but let's get to Rikers Island. Stories. Gang. The reaction, right? <laughs> I'm going to watch you. You're going to watch me. All right? We're criminals for life. We're crimes. That's what they're saying to each other. And I solicit you beyond just being an SRG member, but being my crimey. We met in jail. It was like right. For those of you that don't know what SRG is, SRG, security risk gang member. Facts. So when you go through, a lot of dudes wasn't even gang. But if they see you with certain dudes on a constant basis, what the COs were doing, they were just labeling you SRG. And to get that off your jacket... It's super hard. So SRG, security risk gang member. All my contents for entertainment purposes and to educate grown people. <laughs> Let's get it. Yeah, it was like right there. He got my trust and I got his trust. You know what I'm saying? My eyes is his eyes, his eyes is my eyes. If I'm sleeping, he woke. If he's sleeping, I'm woke. That's the way it go. This is my real brother, my blood brother. You heard how he said, this is my bro, my... Gr if I'm sleeping, he woke, ah, uh, right? That's That happens, you know what I'm saying? Because back then, everything was militant. Facts. Whoever's been to the island, I was saying this the other day, speaking with somebody, not thinking alive. Everything on Rikers Island was militant. From even kings, bloods, but the kings, I not because I was involved in the kings all the time, that's not it, it's just what's facts is facts. Latin kings was so militant. That you went to the bathroom, there was a dude, a bro right there. Boom. You went to take a shower, there was a bro. You was on the phone, there was a bro. You went to talk to somebody, and the dude pick up his hands. and like, yo, put your hands down. You're like, holy snap, bro. 
and you pick them up by mistake again. Yo, put your hand. You like, oh, you have to tell the bro, like, yo, bro, chill. Let me talk to him for a second, right? Because with some people, you felt comfortable and it was uncomfortable when that would happen, bro. Leave in the comments if that happened to you. And I understand that the peoples was just looking out, but it filtered on to a whole lot of other different uh, gangs as they were coming up in the ranks on Rikers Island, you know? And when you come through right now, certain gangs are like that. You know what I'm saying? They real militant with it. You know what I'm saying? Like if every, you sleeping, somebody's up watching you. It's just the way you got to be, man. Especially if you in a dorm, man. I hate dorms. But in a dorm setting, when you lock out on the lockout, right? And that's another thing. When the COs at Rikers Island scream, on the lockout. Not everybody locks out. There's dudes that won't lock out for a long time, bro. They don't even shower. And that's bad. So if you ever go through learning experience, don't be that guy that's afraid to take a shower because dudes are going to get on you hard. And the worst feeling in the world is to have a little dude like me or somebody else come to you and tell you, my dude, you got to jump in that shower, bro. You're going to feel super embarrassed. You might, it might, a fight might even break out. So the best thing to do to avoid that, jump in the shower, man. Ain't nothing going to happen. You watching too much Oz, too many movies. It's not like that, bro. Believe that. Whoever told you that, <laughs> that Rikers is like that, they lied to you, bro. Facts. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm always going to tell you the truth. Facts. Let's get to it. You already know what this is. It's on the lockout, lockout fan for life. And right about now, we getting into these Rikers Island reaction videos. Facts. Real brother, my blood brother. Not no gang, it's my real brother. Know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for him, I know I'd have been out of here to the bed. They won't even set me in no other building. I just got kicked back out of the borough house over here for going through problems in New York. I don't get it. I don't really get it. He said that he just got there, so like that, for getting to problems with people in New in somewhere he was at in New York. Or that's why he got locked up or something, or or he's saying like he got transferred from somewhere else. Cause I know he, I could have sworn I heard him use the word New York, but whatever. Shout out to him. I'm just saying I'm, I misheard something there. I was probably, you know, my brain all over the place. But let me hear that again then, bro. I'll be right back, Joey. I'd have been out of here to the bed. They won't even set me in no other building. I just got kicked back out of the borough house over here for going through problems in New York. I don't want other people in this people that don't got nothing to do with it. He helps you. I think I get it. I think I get it. He just got sent over there. From Borough House, he said, from taking out his anger on other people in New York. I get it. So if he was probably in Borough House, right, or whatever he want to call it, right, and uh, then he got sent there, he was taking his anger out on other people over there because those jails are closer to New York, I'm guessing, right? Like Brooklyn House, Queensboro. Or whatever the case may be. That's what I'm getting. Leave in the comments what you got out of that. And like, I'm right or I'm bugging out. You bugging, war. <laughs> Let me know what's up, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, if I'm a little bit more high headed than me, but I'm here to maintain and hold him down, you know? And I heard him boasting about they'll do anything, they'll cut someone up, they know what they have to do. I'm not gonna go to sleep while he's sleeping, so I'm gonna watch him and vice versa. It was all selling a, a big story right now. Yo, 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 belly, yo, belly, chill, B. Chill, B. You bugging out, bro. Why you always trying to get on somebody, man? Yo, you think you still thugging? I'm going to tell you something about belly, bro. I'll never forget when I was in Mar 10 Lower. I hated it because they bring us from one dorm, which was Mar 1. I was there with KO, Lucky, these are blood dudes. There was kings, a whole bunch of kings at that time, right? And a whole bunch of bloods. It was like, ah, right? 
MK went down there. He wasn't living there. He just went through my house like, yo, what up, nana? You already know, right, with the big hair. This was a long time ago, bro. But it was still, I think, in the 2000s. In fact, Goldie was down there from Brooklyn. Shout out to Goldie with the gold fronts. A lot of people that had crime. It was lit, lit, right? So <laughs> that's when the dude escaped from my house. And barely put the cuffs on me, man hard, and Martin lower, because I was like, yo, you don't got to talk to nobody. Dominican Cabeza was there from 180-something, if I'm not mistaken. Um, There's a lot of a lot of, a lot lot of of hitters down there, bro, a lot of hitters. A lot of good dudes, though, bro. Dudes were good. When you were around a bunch of dudes that get it in, it was like, cool. You know, it was all right. It was, it was fun. Every day was some action. Facts. So uh, what I've seen about Bailey, bro, like, a lot of people, they talk a lot of doodle about Bailey, but when they see him, you was riding him. This is a fact. Leave it in the comments. Dudes are like, yo, he was doing this grimy, that grimy. But when you in the jail, you was probably one of the dudes all over him. Like, hello, Bailey. And I know dudes try to get what they want or whatever, but I hear a lot of dudes always, and I'm not looking out for him. I, I'm just speaking facts. That's what I'm always going to speak. Uh. I guess he did wrong in certain parts, I guess, to defend himself. I don't know whatever his feeling is, what I'm, what people's stories, what they say. I can't take from nobody's story. I don't know. I wasn't there with him, right? But I seen him do a lot of good, though, too, for his people, like looking out for Spanish and blacks. That's what I seen. You know what I'm saying? Some people, I guess, if you thought you was like super thug and you was going to Debo him, then you clashed. But if you put it in, and, you know, it's ignorance putting it in, right? Because putting in work, what really is putting in work to people? Cutting somebody? Cutting another dude? Like, we were super ignorant. But if I had to do it all over again, would I do it all over again instantly? My survival kicks in. Warpath comes out. Although I'm tired of that in a way, you know, the Rikers Island things, sometimes I try to really relax because leave in the comments if you feel this way. The saddest thing is that although I change so much and I come a long way, at times, I feel like I still got another bit in me. Like, I'm not going to let you play with me, bro. You know, we got to watch ourselves because some people do things and act super thuggish, and at the end of the day, they're going to make sure you get arrested. Stay out of jail. Stay out of Rikers Island. Because one thing about Rikers Island, jail, prison, and all that, is that no matter what happens in the world, if you never have a place to stay, there's always going to be a bed available for you, for everybody on Rikers Island. Facts. I hope you like this content. I did it from the heart. I'm trying new things, different uh, content for you guys to give you the best. You already know how we do. And I just want to give you guys the best of on the lockout. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. I'm super grateful for my lockout fam. You already know it's lockout fam. For life, on the lockout, more content tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day, and all that. Thank you.